Hi friends. Today's story is called Lots of Latkes, a Hanukkah story by Sandy Lanton. So this is a story about Rivka. She's having a Hanukkah party and she is making traditional potato latkes. They're kind of like potato pancakes. All of her friends have to do is bring something good with them for the latkes, but things happen and things just aren't working. And so they have to figure out what they're going to do instead. Lots of latkes. Long ago, in a faraway village nestled between two tall mountains lived an old woman named Rivka Leah. One sunny day, a few days before Hanukkah, Rivka sent notes to each of her friends. The notes read, Come to my house the first night of Hanukkah, just before sundown, and we will celebrate the holiday together. Bring your menorah and something good to share with latkes. So a menorah is a candle that they light with different candles for Hanukkah. And Hanukkah is just another holiday that some people celebrate kind of like Christmas. Mosh, the milkman, said, read the note and replied, I would be delighted to attend. I will bring my menorah and I will prepare sour cream to eat with the latkes. Chana, who tended a fruit, or fruit orchard, sent her a response. I would love to come and I will bring my menorah. I have plenty of apples stored in my cellar, so I will make applesauce to go with the latkes. Mmm, that sounds good. Applesauce, potato pancakes. Avram, the fisherman, wrote his answer. I'll arrive before sundown and I will bring my menorah. I live near the lake, so I will catch some fish to fry. Manya, the baker, answered. I'll be there for sure and I'll bring my menorah. I put up lots of jars of jelly this fall, so I'll make jelly donuts for dessert. Mm mm, yum. The morning of the first night of Hanukkah dawned bright and sunny. Mosh went to his barn to get a bucket of cream so he could make sour cream. But the cow knocked over the bucket. How, now what should I do? He said to the cow. I can't go to the party with nothing. He went back to his house to think about what to bring. Chana went to the cellar to get apples for her applesauce, but all the apples had rotted. Now what should I do? She said to her cat. I can't go to the party empty handed. So she went upstairs to her kitchen to search her pantry. See, things are going wrong. I wonder how they're gonna fix it. I wonder what they're gonna do. Avram took his fishing pole to the lake. He cut a big hole in the ice and sat down, but the fish weren't biting. Now what do I do? Said the, his faith, to his faithful dog. I can't be the only one to arrive with nothing. He sat for a while longer whittling a twig and thinking. Maya went to the pantry to get some sugar to make her jelly donuts, but the mice had eaten all the sugar. Now what will I do, she said to the mice. I can't go to the party without something to share. I can bring some jars of jelly, but is that enough? She made herself a cup of tea and sat down to think. Hmm, I wonder what they're gonna do. How are they gonna fix this problem, do you think? That evening, as the guests arrived, Rivka greeted them warmly at the door. Happy Hanukkah, friends! I have a fire roaring and the kettle is on for tea. And of course, I made lots of latkes. 
Did you bring something to share? Oh no, I wonder. Looks like they all have some baskets. So I wonder what they brought. Of course, boomed Mush. But my cow knocked over the cream, so I bought latkes instead. And my apples were rotted, so I made latkes too, said Chana. And the fish weren't biting, so I too made latkes, said Avram. The mice ate the sugar, so I also brought latkes along with some jars of jelly, Manya reported. So many latkes, said Riv Rivka. She laughed and laughed. Lots of latkes, Chana and Mosh joined in. Lots and lots of latkes, Avrin agreed. Soon all the friends were laughing. That's a lot of latkes they're going to have to eat. I am great at telling the story of Hanukkah, said Mosh. While I was fishing, I whittled a dreidel, added Avram. And I bought my fiddle to play cheerful music, said Manya. I know plenty of Hanukkah songs. I can lead, said Chana. And I made up a Hanukkah dance that I can teach everyone, said Rivka. Mosh told the story of Hanukkah in his booming voice, acting out the miracle of the Maccabee soldiers and a small jar of oil that lasted for eight nights. That's the menorah with the candles. The friends ate, drank, played dreidel, sang and danced by the blazing light of the menorah until dawn shed its way light over the valley. And this is a recipe for latkes that I put on the slides. So hopefully you guys can try making some with your family at home. That's my story, lots of latkes. Bye friends.